Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Sense. If you're new here, my name is Allison, your independent Scentsy consultant, and today I have a large Scentsy Club unboxing to share with you. So let's get started. This is the first time that uh, my two Scentsy Clubs have synced together. So I have a bi-monthly club every other month, and then I have a quarterly club that comes every three months. Although I did skip my last quarterly in December, so I have not got my quarterly since last September. So I'm really excited. Uh, and it's syncing with the one I get every other month. Um, obviously, I love all the products that are in here. They wouldn't be in my club. Pretty much everything that I have in here is not available anymore. Um, so I'm going to try to just go through them somewhat quickly because I have like about 40 bars in here. Um, if you're not familiar with Scentsy Club, it, really quickly here, it is, it's not really, um, it's a no strings attached uh, subscription service. So there's no commitments. You can do it for one month and then stop. But basically you can get products sent right to your home um, monthly, bi-monthly or quarterly. There's lots of great perks with it, but one of them is always get my bar. So if you love a bar that becomes discontinued, whether it's, you know, catalog transition or a limited time offer bar, you can put it in your club and Sensi will continue to make it for you forever as long as you have it in your club, um, which like I said, you can cancel at any time. So I have two clubs. That's why, basically why I use Scentsy Club so that I can continue to get bars that are no longer available. My big Scentsy Club that comes um, every three months is larger and um, my sister-in-law gets some products in that one too. And then my bi-monthly one, I basically created this um, at the end of last spring summer season to hold the bars in there in case they didn't come back this season, which pretty much all of them did. So now I have other bars in there that have replaced them. But with this club, I do keep myself to a 10 bar limit, just enough, or I should say $60 worth of product limit, because once you hit that $60 mark, you get a half off item. So I can get a brick or a whiff box or an air purifier, filter, anything, even a bar, a bulb, um, any of the consumable products that you can get in Scentsy Club. Let me get a drink of water here. Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, we'll start with my bi-monthly. This one, like I said, should be 10 items, well, 11 items, because 10, 10 bars to bring me to my $60 mark, and then my half-off mark um, item. If you spend $30, you get 10% off. Okay, so let's start with my half price item. This is the first time that I purchased one of these. This is an air purifier replacement filter. So the Scentsy Air Purifier, um, it is a great system that you can also use pods with to clean and fragrance the air, and this is the filter. The filters are normally 30 something dollars. I think this was 17 for a replacement. So that's the way to go because I haven't had to replace my filter yet, but I am using my purifier more in my kitchen. And so I didn't know that the, the current filter, the original, I'm not sure that it'll last till May, which is when this next club shipment comes. So. This will uh, tide me over for a while. And then I have 10 bars in here. I just really have like a frog in my throat today. First one, birthday wishes. I don't know that this is gonna stay. This is on the chopping block as far as, you know, bars that may be removed to keep at that 10 bar limit. Oh, but it's so nice. It's just a nice um, a white cake with frosting, and I, I just love it. But I don't know. It might be it might be on the chopping block for me. Uh, the next one is Scarlet Sunflower. This was from the it was new to the catalog last season, fall winter. Absolutely love this. I love the apple scent in it. 
it's kind of like a sophisticated apple with the sunflower. So that is in my club until I know if it's going to come back next season. Same with eucalyptus wreath. Really love this. This is just a nice fresh herbal eucalyptus. Not medicinal, very fresh. I have it in the room spray in my bathroom and it's amazing. Uh, this was the top five, the, the, yeah, out of the top five, this was fifth place for the top sellers last season. So if things got tight in my club, I may take that out because I'm fairly confident that it will come back, but you never know. Next one was a club exclusive in the last Bring Back My Bar, Aussie Plum. So this is the second one that I've gotten of this, and I just, I really love this scent. I love plums, and it's just a really nice fruity plum scent. It's a little bit deep, but not like a super, it's not a deep fall scent and it's not, um, like cinnamon, like dancing sugar plums. Just a really nice plum. And I'm going to just try to keep going through these a little bit more. Maui Mist. Uh, this is my number one all time favorite scent, but it is in my big club and I did get like eight bars when it was out in January in the bring back my bars. So, um, this is a placeholder. Next time I find something I want to replace it with in this club, I will, cause it's in my other club world traveler. Love this one. This was a bar, uh, Sensi club exclusive in January. Bring back my bar. Beautiful, clean, masculine scent. Very like sophisticated and it, it's strong. I had this in my open concept for almost a week when we were sick and it, it just kept going and going. Um, this is another favorite of mine. I feel like a lot of the club exclusives in January were almost better than the actual top 25. Um, but this is, oh, Caramel Pear Crisp. I love this. I warmed it right away and I'm probably going to warm it right away again. Maybe I should have got more than just one in my club. I don't know, because that is really, really good. Hendrix. This is a patchouli, like a woodsy patchouli scent. Mm, it is nice. Probably won't stay in my club forever, though. Yeah, that's nice, though. It's nice in the bedroom. Pretty good performer. Um, Bore Bore Blossom. This was another club exclusive, as was Hendrix. And this is a very nice... Mmm, tropical fruity. I mean, tropical floral. You know what? I just recently warmed, um, what is that? Summer oh. Evening, I think, from the um, new catalog and Summer Moonlight. Summer Moonlight. I think this would go really good with that. Mm, this is really nice. But this also probably won't stay in my club forever. It is a lighter scent and... There's, it, it's really nice, but it probably won't stay there forever. This one I do really like, and I feel like it's a little more unique. And this is from the Bring Back My Bar regular lineup in January. And it's Huckleberry Clementine. Huckleberry and Clementine. Oh, that is so good. Um, this basically replaced a vanilla blackberry in this club for me. I had vanilla blackberry in here. And, um, instead I just stocked up when it went in clearance and this is going to stay in my club because this is stronger. It's a little bit stronger, a little bit, uh, sharper, more, uh, I don't want to say herbaceous, but yeah, it kind of has that like sharp, uh, earthy note. It's really nice and it is strong, strong, strong. So. With the dark berries and um, you have that clementine, of course. It just gives it that extra little kind of zing. Really nice. So that was my 10 bars from my smaller club. And, of course, the air purifier uh, filter, replacement filter. Now comes the big one. This big, big uh, bad boy here. This has 26 items, all of which have shipped. So that means 25 bars. So I guess I didn't have as close to 40 as I was thinking, but 25 bars plus the half off item. Um, 
excuse me while I adjust myself here. So the half off item is a whip box. Um, I'll probably just show this at the end of this video because at this point we're halfway through, more than halfway through March. And a lot of people have already seen the March whip box. It is one of the bigger whip boxes and it's heavy and um, I will open that at the end. I do know what's in that. Um, that way you don't have to stick around for that if you don't want to. Okay, paper and more paper and more paper. And then we just have, um, sorry, a box of wax, a hefty box of wax, 25 bars <laughs> to be exact. So 35 bars in this haul. That's probably the most bars I've ever gotten at one time. <clears throat> With Scentsy Club, each club subscription, and you can have one at each frequency. Um, they allow you to have, well, you can skip as many months as you want, but they allow you to have one skip a year where you won't lose all your discontinued items. And, um, I used that for my big club in September. I mean, in December. So I haven't gotten this since September and it's allowed me to work through some of those bars, but now I can't skip again until next December or I'll lose all, all my discontinued bars in here. Um, that's a good time of year to do it because of the holidays and stuff. Okay. Obviously I love all these bars, so I'll try not to say that, but they wouldn't be in my club if I didn't. Uh, one bar of lavender violet. This was from the Life's a Garden collection, which came out pretty much exactly a year ago. <sighs> lavender violet. This was definitely the winner for me from that collection. Love it. It's a beautiful set. Okay, um, Halloween Town. This was from the Harvest Collection. Second year that it's come out as an LTO in the Harvest Collection. Mm. Deep Berries, Cider, Plum. A little bit of spice, but it's, it's done so well. I absolutely love this scent. Okay, trying not to say that. <laughs> Okay, I thought I got two bars of this. I actually meant to drop it down to one because my mom was getting one, um, but I forgot to. So she'll probably want that one again anyway. For Maddie, she's going to get at least one more bar of her favorite bar ever, Ursula Poor Unfortunate Souls from the Villain Collection. Oh, look at that. Do you see that? Huh. Well... It's for Maddie, so it's fine. You know, I, this is not for customers, but that's a little disappointing. Um, my sister-in-law does have some bars in here, so I will point those out. But I believe I got two of these, one for me and one for my mom. Temporarily took this out of the club when it came back and bring back my bar, but now it's back in my club. So a, a lot of you have probably smelled this recently, but it's a really nice, fresh coconut smell. I have a friend that she's not big on fresh scents, but she loves that for her bathroom. Um, I'm so glad that this didn't go away. This is Toasted Marshmallow. This was last available in the Easter 2021 collection, so a year ago. And um, before that, I believe it was in, I think it was in like a Father's, no, not a Father's Day. A summer collection, I think. Maybe it was Father's Day. I don't remember, but that was kind of before my Scentsy time. Um, <clears throat> I was worried this was going to go away because Scentsy announced that their um, partnership with Jelly Belly was going to end at the end of last year and that one of the scents was Toasted Marshmallow. And I was very concerned and I called Consultant Support and they didn't really know any more than what was on the workstation, so they told me, yeah, uh, it sounds like it's going to go away. Luckily, they actually happened to had, have had another scent that was also called Toasted Marshmallow that was like the Jelly Belly one. So that one went away, long story short. This one, which is the one that I had in my club, stayed. Oh, yes, I love this. Um... Maya, my two-year-old, I mean, not my two-year-old, my four-year-old, 
And actually my two-year-old is three now. So I have a three-year-old and a four-year-old and a soon-to-be 11-year-old. Um, but this is my four-year-old's favorite scent. She loves this. And it's just sweet, very sweet marshmallow with a smoky note. It's a great mixer, powerhouse on its own. It's awesome. Vanilla bean buttercream. This is for my sister-in-law. This is available in the catalog year-round. Also available as a brick in Scentsy Club. Um, that's another thing is you can get bricks. For, um, and you can get them full price or half price. This is a brick. This is what I got last time. Um, so quite a bit bigger than a bar. Five and a half times bigger. Anyway, she just got some bars in here that are currently available, but it's a convenience for her of just having them ship on a consistent basis. So vanilla bean buttercream is a bestseller. It's just very sweet vanilla. Um, I love that one in the winter time. Um, Monsters Inc. Monstropolis. Love this one. It makes me so happy. Um, amazing on its own. Great as a mixer. I mixed it with Dumbo Circus Parade last time. Loved it. This is one of the ones that I pretty much tend to use like very shortly after I get this shipment. Um, Ghostly Greetings. This was a scent of the month in September 2020. One of the first bars I put in my club. I'm so glad I get this forever. It's just this very deep, very, well, it's got plum, um, Devana flower. What else? Oh, I don't know why I can't think of all the notes right now, but um, it's it's a really nice scent for the fall, but I love it so much that I, I warm it year round. So, ghostly greetings. This is for my sister-in-law, Be Fabulous. This is in the current catalog, and this is a citrus, kind of like a grapefruit scent. It's nice. It was originally a scent of the month a um, couple, couple seasons ago. This is also for my sister-in-law, a bestseller in the current catalog, Hibiscus Pineapple. Um, really fun. Actually, I believe this is in the floral section, I think, because of the hibiscus. But it's pretty fruity to my nose. And this is going to be coming out in um, Scentsy Fresh, the fragrance spray. It's like Febreze. As an, a limited time offer, they're going to have it in hibiscus, pineapple, and two other scents. So that should be fun. Spring Forward. Okay, this one, I really love it. But I may have found something that might be... Um, an acceptable substitute. So Spring Forward was in the last, uh, it was June 2021, Bring Back My Bar. Mm, actually, I don't know now that I'm smelling this, if I can take it out. I think it has a jam note in it, a raspberry jam. I don't know. There's something very unique, kind of like a, a little bit of a sharpness to that floral. And I got a little bit of that same sharpness note in, um... The new Perfect Petals. And so I was wondering, was it the Neroli in that one? But I don't think this one has Neroli. Anyway, um, I want to wait and warm this closer to June when this ships again. Because last summer when I warmed it, one bar upstairs was a powerhouse. It did great. Um, I warmed this about a month ago in the colder months. And it did not perform as well. So I don't know if... It's one of those seasonal scents that it has to be kind of like the right temperature for it to perform well. So anyway, we will see if this stays in my club, but I at least have one more bar and I'm happy for that. Another coconut cotton. Yeah, this one's for my mom. My favorite bar of all time, Maui Mist. If I could only have one bar forever, it would be Maui Mist. And let me tell you, I was beyond thrilled when I found out this was coming back um, in the last Bring Back My Bar in January. I was so happy. Um, this is everything to me. <laughs> um, 
I definitely get that relaxy beachy vibe in it, but I don't know that it has coconut. It has um like a rose floral, but it's so it does have a tiny bit of a powdery note, but not not like simply rose or anything like that. Um I just I love this scent. I'm sure you guys probably a lot of you did try it last spring back my bar and a lot of people do say it's too floral for them. Um my friend that I was just talking about that doesn't like fresh scents. She also doesn't really like floral and it was too florally for her. But I love that one. It's beautiful. It's just so pretty. Okay. Ocean. Um, this was in last summer, bring back my bar and it doesn't have the bring back my bar sticker on it. Some of these do like the, um, spring forward did. This one does not. Um, just a true aquatic without, you know, some, oh, I love that. Some of Scentsy's aquatic notes are kind of, they have like a weird sharpness in them that I'm not crazy about. Like, um, I pick it up in Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. Um, DC Justice League had a weird aquatic note. This is not that. This is just so fresh and maybe more of a true, what you would think water would smell like. I know that sounds weird. Um, I love this. This is my favorite scent in laundry too. I hope it comes back. I accidentally left my um, element warmer on in my office over the weekend last weekend and I kept walking by wondering what smelled so good. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't hit me but it was this and I thought it was done but it just kept going. Ocean is a long lasting bar. Um, Fiji flower. This was in the summer collection last year and so good. Um, this was wonderful and laundry just sold out in the clearance section in the washer whiffs, um, in the flash sale, but it's wonderful and laundry, wonderful in bars, wonderful in pot. I, it's, it's such a pretty tropical floral has apple in it. And so it's. A little bit fruity it's not powdery for my sister-in-law just one bite <clears throat> this was from the same villains collection that had um ursula in it also had maleficent which was in my club for a while and i took that out and look at this another damaged clamshell that is a little disappointing this has like a little bubble in it too so I just did an unboxing of the scent of the month for um, April and the first bar I opened had a little bubble and this also has one in the same spot. So that's kind of interesting because you don't see those a lot. So this is just like an apple cinnamon fall scent. Um, but it, a lot of people that are into those type of scents feel like this is very well done. And it is smooth with the cinnamon but that's just not really my wheelhouse but she loves that one hopefully I, I i would venture to say they'll probably bring out the villains again although they just did have the villains in clearance and flash sale so i don't know sweet plum pastry i love it this was in the bring back my bar it's got the old bring back my bar packaging so it was the last time they did that packaging which was december 2020 Um, cult classic. It does discolor over time. This one might not be that fresh of a bar. It looks like it's starting to discolor and look at the clamshell. And I've noticed that this one does stain the clamshell, but it will turn a lighter color over time. It does not perf uh, affect the performance. See, clamshell's a little stain. Beautiful plum bakery. <laughs> Powerhouse too. This is like in my top, maybe my top five. I don't know. It's up there. Lavender and white balsam. Um, I love the lavender in here. Um, this is a year round scent for me, although it was in the same winter bring back my bar. A lot of people get more of the winter vibes with the balsam, but it's so good. I'm not a big tree fan either, but this is so good. It's mostly lavender you get more of a, that balsam just gives it, 
more of that natural um, herbaceous note that's different than French lavender. Anyway, that's really good. That was recently in the flash sale. Dumbo, um, if you missed out on this, it is currently available again as a limited time offer. Highly recommend for a fun mm, tropical fruity. The scent makes me happy. Um, we're almost done here. Autumn Road Trip. This is for my sister-in-law. This is a fall scent. Like fall fresh tree scent. I think that'll probably come back next year. It's pretty popular. Cashmere Pear. I actually have this going in my bedroom right now. Beautiful pear with that, mm, that just relaxing cashmere bedroom vibes. Good performer too. Um, Rio Beach. Talk about a powerhouse that goes and goes and goes. You could leave this in for probably a couple weeks if you use like the whole bar. I mean, I've done that in certain areas. This, this was in the Bring Back My Bar June 2020. Uh, so when I first started this Scentsy Club and it stayed in there and it's going to continue to stay. Very good bang for your buck. With, it's like a coconut beach scent. Um, two more bars. Snuggle Up. This was in the uh, Catching Z's collection a little over a year ago. It's jammy time, but stronger with a little bit more of maybe like a laundry type note. But it's still, it's like got the cozy vibes. This was definitely the, the superstar of that collection. And then my last bar, uh, Plum and White Woods. This was Bring Back My Bar, December 2020. The same one that had the lavender and white balsam. And the sweet plum pastry. That was a really good lineup um, for if you like, you know, the plum and that type of stuff. This is not a bakery plum. It's um like a body care plum. And you have like the floral, all the woods. Mm. So good. I would love if this ever came out in body. So anyway, that is both of my clubs. All, all the bars, all the half off. Oh, I was going to open the whiff box. I almost forgot. A lot of you guys have seen this. I've seen spoiler alerts. So I'll just kind of go through it quickly. It's a spring cleaning theme. Um, so you have kind of the be fab or not be fabulous. Make a splash um, characters on here. Um make a splash is new this season in cleaning and body and not one of my favorite scents that's another one I don't like if it's like the aquatic or the melon I'm not crazy about it but this is a really fun um Swedish dishcloth so it's like a towel microcloth it's like hard and then you get it wet and it um I don't know yeah <laughs> anyway um, the scent of the month for the current month, Hey Tiger Lily. This box will always have a current scent of the month bar. It seems pretty apparent that they're not doing samples of the next month, which is unfortunate, but these are $30. You always have more than $30 worth of items, so at least $35, $40. I got it for half off in, in the um, Scentsy Club, so $15 for all this. So that's a $6 bar. Comes with a counter clean and make a splash. Um, counter clean is normally 10. A bathroom cleaner in Coastal Sunset. I love this scent. It's awesome in the all purpose cleaner, so can't wait to try it in bathroom. Um, I think that's normally 10 or 12. And I think the dish soap is 12. And this is Cloudberry Dreams. Uh, this is the second season that this has been in cleaning. And I like it in the bathroom cleaner. So I think it would be good in dish soap, but it's going to take me quite a while before I'm ready to get to that because I have a lot of dish soap. So, I mean, that's a pretty good value. That's what, even if these were $10 a piece, that would be $36. Um, and then I got it for half off. So that is officially my Scentsy Club orders. They won't sink like this again till. Uh, I think September. So thank you for joining me. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.